Let's hand it is it on? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Warrior's Path. We're so sorry if you were on the last stream. We lost internet and didn't realize it until at the end of the break uh, when we just kind of noticed that, well, we didn't have live service. So uh, we're back on the stream. We hope that you're joining us again. Uh, you did not miss much, I promise. We just kind of continued to talk in the circles we had previously been talking. Uh, ultimately, what wound up happening, though, is uh, in the process of conversation, our party has decided to split uh, with Utaku and Katsuki going to the City of Lies with Bayushi, excuse me, Bayushi Aramoro and uh, Isawa and Miramoto taking Ikoma with them to the Kitsune Forest. Now, the City of Lies is on the way, so they're all going to kind of board a raft and go together um, down to uh, their various stops. There is some dangerous terrain in the mountains, so like you guys will like carry the raft down. I'm not going to make a bunch of rolls happen for that. Nothing... Um, consequential is going to happen in the travel itself. Um, our, our focus in this on our podcast in general, if you're joining us for the first time ever, is generally speaking on the narrative aspects. Um, especially whenever I'm at the helm, like I don't like getting hung up on random encounters. I don't care about them. Um, I would much rather get to the meat of stuff. So with that being said, um, Kitsuki and Utaku and Aramoro have already been dropped off. Um, you were actually dropped off in the mountains because, like I said, Aramoro doesn't want the uh, leader of the City of Lies to know that you guys are in or out. Um, so you guys are going to kind of be on a stealth mission. So it may take a few days for you to even complete it before you go and meet the rest of the party downriver at the uh, Kitsune Forest. Um, the rest of you. With uh, Ikoma, who is alert. He does seem to be in better spirits now that he's had time to rest um, on this journey. It's been, at this point, when you're kind of coming up on the forest itself, uh, it's been about a day's journey down the river. So you're probably going to make camp here and then begin your kind of exploration of the forest um, shortly after that. Uh, what do you guys do to get ready for camp with Ikoma? How does that look for you? Just kind of briefly. <clears throat> Um, we're and we're camping outside the forest. Uh, close, close, close to, to it, it, relatively close to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just pull up on shore, we'll make a little fire, and you know, eat some food, and put out a bedroll, and you know, sit around the fire, and you know, talk well into the night. Okay, probably mm -hmm. make some tea. Make some tea, meditate a little bit, kind of get a general feel for what's happening with the kami in the area and the spirits in the area. Okay. Yeah, so you kind of get this sense of, I mean, the Kami and Spears in this area are, are uh, wildly <laughs> varied. Um, this uh -huh. forest is pretty well haunted <laughs> by lots of different things. So um, as you guys are kind of making your, um, your sort of bed, your area. Um, I think we'll continue just <clears throat> kind of popping in a few questions here. They're very similar to kind of the yeah, just kind of continuing where we were at before with him before he said, "Well, I'm tired," you know, and I, he was struggling. Yeah, absolutely. Um, while you guys continue that conversation and you make your space for sleeping, um, Utaku and Katsuki, you've entered the uh, city of lies. It's in, uh, it is the capital of opium in Rokugan, and I don't say that lightly. Um, m most of, if not the majority of, drug export comes from here. And while mm -hmm. Aramoro is the champion of the Scorpion, nobody responds to him quite like they do to the City of Lies. If the City of Lies needs help uh, politically, um, they have it immediately. If they have some sort of spiritual turmoil, the Yogo are there before you can snap your fingers. If they have some sort of physical conflict coming to their doorstep, the Bayushi are there quicker than a horse. Because if the opium trade goes down, so do the Scorpion. So it's the most protected city, it's the most desired city, it's the most populated city in Scorpion lands. And it has the most eyes. You'll have trouble fitting in. I'm going to go get something while you two talk about how you are going to proceed in the town. Because I was irresponsible during the break. <laughs> but you have to talk. We have an audience. I think <laughs> normally I would just go to a tea house and observe and listen, but I'm not sure it would work so well here with there being so many 
are they not eyes? Yes. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I don't think it will matter where we go. There will always be the prying eyes and ears of the scorpion. Mm. Whether it be a tea house, opium den, which I. You, we could start at the to. bottom, actually, also, if you want. If you know what I mean. <laughs> the dens, of course. Yeah. But uh, maybe... So I came back and Katsuki wants to start with the opium. No, no, no. Because no. <laughs> <laughs> I got huge nostrils! Ar- yes. Aramoro, oh, do you... Would the... what? If you were told the highest place in... The something that lies above the city of lies. Where would you think? Something that lies above the city. Well, the mountains are usually. A good I, step. That's, mm. is, that is probably that is something most. elevated in the city of lies, maybe. Yes. Not quite so literal. Hmm. Let me see what I can find. Uh, and he uh, he kind of slinks away and comes back only moments later. And says, "We will hear words soon." Uh, let's flip over back again to uh, <clears throat> Miramoto and Isawa, and uh, it's morning. Ikoma is dead asleep, snoring. He's got like a snot bubble going on, <laughs> like, in, like an anime cartoon. Uh, I use the water. <laughs> Quixote, try to. <laughs> Form snut. <laughs> you think it's funny, but it's not. I do dance with seasons and freeze that puppy. <laughs> really? <laughs> Playing pranks on poor Icoma. That's right. Um, no, what do you, what do you do? Icoma's asleep. He's snoring very loudly. Mm. We're not going to be able to be very stealthy in this forest with him if we have to spend the night. No, I'll kind of tap his foot. Coma. It is time to wake. Get on our journey. Oh, journey. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> We're doing stuff, huh? We are. How do you feel? Are you feeling better now that you've gotten well, some rest, my friend? Yeah, I mean, I've got a couple days now. Yeah. <laughs> feeling you... great. Uh, anyway, uh, why are we at the forest? Why are we... Is this Kitsumi Forest? Yes, Why it are is. we here? Um, it is a path on our journey to help you, help Grio, help the Empire... Help. Well, you know, I'm all about helping the Empire. Yes. So, uh, uh, what do we, what do we, what do we do? What do I do? You just follow our lead if you can do that. Excellent. Lead away. Thank you. So, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> Dang! I was literally thinking in my head, that's the most decisive Rick's ever been. <laughs> well, okay. lead the way. So, we uh, are looking for a portal. In the forest. A portal? To what? To his father. To the Who's dream. your father? <laughs> Sura, who's your father? <laughs> what the hell was his name? Um, <laughs> it's <right>. Rio. Wait. <laughs> it's, it was Riyundi, um Asawa. This is what I had it written down as. But... Um, Isawa Riyundi. He is hmm. a very, very powerful Shugenja. He might be able to enlighten us on our journey. I see. Well, let's seek him out if we're looking for enlightenment. Why is he hanging out in the forest? <laughs> this is going to go on if we just don't move. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can play I think we go one. this way. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so just, we, we, I just kind of ignore off. that and comment. We will travel into the forest. Excellent. So you move into the forest. I and. Will... Uh, have you, uh, this thing, place is full of spirits. Are you feeling anything? Is there? <laughs> they're all there everywhere. But if you want to roll a, a, a yes, you know, check to commune with Kami. Yes, I do. So let me get down to that. And let me know what uh, ring. Um, I think earth would be easiest in this particular scenario. Like it would lower your difficulty by one. Uh, fire would be hardest. It would raise your difficulty for that particular invocation by one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and roll the earth on okay. this one. But. And it's normally a target number three, right? Uh, because I am uh, level two in my school, it's actually a target number... Uh, see, uh, it says activation is a downtime move. It's target number one theology using air, earth, fire, water. But 
Okay. Regardless, I mean, you could set a different difficulty number, but my school automatically reduces one rank. Okay. Yeah, I think go ahead and roll the target number one. I was, I would have raised it uh, by a couple, uh, but the target number one works for you, uh, just because the spirits are so varied in the forest. Yeah. It's hard to kind of pinpoint. Um, it can only get better. Yeah, but it can also add more strife. But we're you don't have to take that one. Um, I know I don't. Uh, so it's two successes, a strife, and an opportunity. So okay. uh, if you succeed with a, let's see, I, I can reduce the target number to appeal to the commie or supernatural presence of this element by one for a future a future roll. Okay, uh, you uh, you're trying to. Uh Attach I'm yourself to these earth commies. Spiritual knowledge is really what I'm going after, which yeah, is... Yeah, and uh, so with communing, you get to, what, like, ask a question or what? It's learn learn a fact about the spirits, what they know about this area. Okay, so as you're doing this kind of prayer, um, and Miramo, I think you, you even see this uh, being, we'll say, uh, kind of materialize, uh, floating just a few inches off the back of Isawa's left shoulder, and Isawa, you hear... It's kind of in your ear, like a almost a stuttering, like a. What? What is? What, huh? What? It, hey, you can. And it's like this, like weasel-looking creature. Who are you? Who are what? Do you have a name? What? You can see me? Yes, I see. Ah, you. a guide. <laughs> no, a guide. No, I just want your nuts. <laughs> These <coughs> the nuts. Oh, I haven't had good food in such a long time. That tea smells so good last night. Well, can I have some of it? I would gladly just offer to, you just some. What feed is your me name? The leaves. What should we call you? Oh, what do you call me? I haven't had anybody call me anything in quite a long time. What do you want to call me? I'll do anything for you, nuts. <laughs> I think you're a little nuts yourself, sir. I'll pull out a little speck of food and just kind of hold it there. <laughs> that looks good. That looks good. Did you see what he We did? are looking good. for a portal to the dreamland. Portal? Oh, tell me you know more about this area than just... You know, I have plenty of these to give you. Portal, 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 portal. And these nuts can only get larger. <laughs> portal, portal, it's portal, cold. Portal, That's portal, why they're so small. Portal, portal. Uh, portal, I don't... Dream, 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 dreamland? <laughs> portal. Uh, it's, it's... It used to be in the middle. The middle. Of the forest. Could you guide us there? I used to. Used you to. used to. I used to. I'll hand him one of the nuts. <laughs> he, he takes it, eats it, like he, he like licks it, using him lick it, and then he throws it in his mouth and it falls out his back. <laughs> He's a spirit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he tastes it. <laughs> so I'm all right with that. I'll pick it up and give it to him again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are generous. <laughs> we can keep them coming, sir. <laughs> Why am I getting the vision of the dragon from Mulan? He's really good at handling these nuts. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the middle, the middle of the forest, had, had a, uh, had a. Uh, the, 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 you said the b -b portal. Why are you here? I live here. Has anyone unusual been through here lately? That you can't remember? <laughs> Can you, and he puts his little paws together, can you define unusual? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, a, I'm a floating freaking ferret. A dark woman? <laughs> dark woman? Yes. I don't think so. Okay. I mean, there's some Katsuni floating around here so, 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 somewhere. Have you seen... But uh, I don't know anybody who's dark. Have can you seen a spiritual wolf, maybe? Uh, yep. The, 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 the Francis? He's what? over there somewhere. Like I seen, there's Francis. a whole pack of them. A whole pack of them. Yeah. Have they always been here? Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking. I mean, they live here too. 
Oh, I see. Yeah. So Do you live here? No. Oh. We're just visiting. Tourists. Yes. That's why you want my portal. That's why we need That's a guide. That's why we need a guide. Well, I'm and we gonna, have plenty of nuts to go around. It's going to cost yes. you a lot of nuts. That's no problem. Here. <laughs> it's the same nut again. He takes it, licks it. <laughs> this one's getting a little dry. <laughs> I'm not going to die. I'm resisting the urge. <laughs> I will not Toss say. it in his mouth. <laughs> I'll, I'll catch it that. on the back end. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Look, here's another one. <laughs> Why you want to go to the portal? There's nothing. There's nothing there worth seeing. I p -p -p promise. You may be right, but some people are hard to convince, and we just need to see for ourselves. Well, okay. What else would you guide us to of interest? The outside of the forest. The outside of the forest? You don't think it's we should go into the forest? safe out there. Is it safe? For you. What will keep us safe in the forest? <sighs> not me. No. Probably not you. Probably. Yeah, you got me, beats me. Okay, so there's no way to be safe <laughs> in the forest. There are ways. Oh, you can be a spirit. I can make that happen. How would you make that happen? Well, it's not comfortable at first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this where we take the pointy end of one of these and put it here? Yes! I think we'll pass. Okay. Well, that's a one way to be safe here, okay. is to just, you know, not have the oozy parts. Oh, are there things that want to do that in the forest? Get the oozy parts? <laughs> And Could you we, guide us around and if, these? If we things. give them nuts, will they? <laughs> <laughs> you chose the wrong NPC, sir. <laughs> no, I didn't. I did it on purpose. I I don't I don't know if I can take you to the middle of the forest, but. Maybe somebody in Murray Murray can. Murray Murray? Yeah, maybe somebody in Murray Murray can. I don't. Murray Murray can. Murray Murray. Maybe they can. Help and Murray Murray is. At the Dead City? Well, yeah. You also should be going in there with no Uzi Barnes, but I'll let you choose. And uh, with that, we're going to screen wipe too. <laughs> Utaku and <laughs> so you, you tired of our oh. nuts? What? <laughs> Uzi parts in a different way. Yes. <laughs> um, a small child comes into uh, the kind of cave structure you guys are kind of hanging out in on the edge of the City of Lies, and uh, he, he whispers some things to Aramoro, and Aramoro looks back at you and says, uh, There's a shrine. <laughs> with some cryptic writing and it's the highest natural elevation that's all I got I wasn't uh, I don't know if we were looking for the highest elevation but that could Quite be cryptic, a, that could, but that could be a starting point lead the way tell you what I'm gonna I'm gonna show you where and then unfortunately yeah, we're cramping your style, I know. Unfortunately, <laughs> the uh, contact that I had asked the wrong person, and now I'm wanted to be seen by the lady who owns this place. So if you'll kindly excuse me, I must attend to her needs while you go find this oracle. Otherwise, we are all going to die in about 45 seconds. Be safe and watch out for that lady. Oh, there's no watch down for her no more. Oh. Not for me. She doesn't know what you guys look like. I'd lose the color. I wasn't talking about the lady of the city. I was talking about the... What do you the mean by lady of the city? Hold on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the one who runs the city. Uh. Yeah, um, yeah I, would, I, I really would. I would lose the, any color of significance. I would look as much like peasants as you could in the well, I'm sure that you'll find 
it a good journey if you go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I am. I am gonna go because I don't want to die here. And uh, champion or no champion, I ain't safe in this town. So <clears throat> I'll see you guys uh, in a little bit. We'll meet back up here at some point today. We'll figure it out. Bye. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, he he does he leaves in a hurry. <clears throat> what do you guys do? I guess we'll have to go into the city or I mean he didn't even tell us the way uh yeah he kind of leaves you I, with some instructions well, I guess we'll go yeah okay do you guys uh dress in more uh, peasantry yeah is or do you that maintain your honor and pride I just look like a magistrate. I, could you have not? I'm going to look like a magistrate. <laughs> could you have dog. not worded it that way? <laughs> I know. <laughs> he did that deliberately. <laughs> I'll look like a magistrate going through this city. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but a dragon magistrate in a scorpion city. Isn't I'll this? maintain my honor and pride. Wow. Okay, so you're going to go uh, full unicorn. All right. I'm not wearing unicorn armor at this point. I thought you hadn't taken yours off because you were belligerently you not a ronin. No, I have the no, 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 no. I have the modern. I don't have the armor. I don't have my. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But your your uh, underclothing would be colored. Yes. Well, do you have your spear? I don't. I'm upset about ah, that. Ah, <laughs> I've got a spear. I don't have my horse. Stop <laughs> reminding me. <laughs> I have nothing. Okay. Um, so you guys make it to this. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not a Ronin. <laughs> <laughs> That's my belief. I'm still serving my lord. We're gonna get you a really crappy horse. I do have one. I left it back at the frogs. So you make it to the shrine. It's uh, the highest elevation in the city of Lies. It's not very high up. Are you still looking like you're a magistrate? Yeah. The clouds are okay. very low here. Then I'm, <laughs> I'm going to make sure I represent myself at, more as a Yojimbo, I guess. Oh, so you work, you're working for him, essentially, yes. is how you're presenting yourself. Yes. Interesting. We'll see uh, if those rolls check out later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it ain't, but that's that's fine. Okay. That's what... <laughs> so you get to the shrine, and uh, it, it's not uh, very big. It's probably half the size of the room we're in now, uh, like in real life. Probably about a five by five little miniature chamber, and on the floor, uh, on a stone, is written, "Heed the direction of the sun." Not even give a time. I mean, it could mean the rooster. I, mm, no, it can't be that. Simple. Are there any other uh, symbols or anything around that could be referenced for time? Uh, no. What god is it? Uh, fortune is it? A shine of? It didn't have any signifier on the outside. Can I make an investigation on the inside? You can. You want theology? What else we got? Well, what are you looking for? The fortune, probably. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell. Like, there's no oh, offerings well, left. Yeah. There's okay. no writing other than the writing on the floor. And it looks the like rock. the purpose of this shrine is that writing. Yeah. Heed the direction of the sun. I'm also going to scan. And is it S O N or S U N? S U N. Okay. Good question. I'm also <laughs> going to scan the crowd for people who are deliberately paying attention to us. Um, you can try. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me a um, what, survival or culture? Probably not culture. Sentiment? No. I can't remember what all skills are in this game. <laughs> well, sentiment we've always used is the commerce. Perception. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> got, got him. Got him, coach. Survival or skullduggery? Uh, skullduggery would be well, the most. I shot myself in the foot. <laughs> Very good. Fitness. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. wait. Marshall Mail. <laughs> no, not that one. Uh, Simon's reading people, I think. Yeah. Two. Which that would be kind of, you're looking to see if they... Yeah. Uh, you don't see anybody that's like pinpointing what? you? I have two opportunity. You want the... Okay. What do you got? Uh, one ring. Water. Fifty. That's conflict. No. No uh, opportunity. Two. How much? Yeah. 
Spot an interesting physical detail present in your environment, not directly oh, related that's what to I your give, check. That's what I wanted to give you anyway. <laughs> you notice the direction of the sun. Like, you, in particular, just kind of see where it is. Uh, like the actual sun, or mm -hmm. is there a sun in... Okay. Yeah, you kind of look out the door and you see exactly where the sun is. All right. um, but in your check, you you see a couple people that like their eyes catch you, but they, mm -hmm. they move on very quickly. Okay. So it doesn't seem like anybody's like particularly looking directly surveilling. I'll okay. say that. <laughs> so is the for that son he meant the he caught sight of, uh is that like basically <clears throat> where it would be most of the time when looking through this shrine or is it just No, it's just kind of at the normal spot it is for this time of day. Can I like extract like chase it maybe somewhere to like some landmark like where it would go down when it sets or when it rises uh you try and I, I think you would even maybe roll a couple of checks here but i won't make you do that that um it, it doesn't seem like it lands on any particular natural thing maybe we just want, want to check at different times of the day is this the only abil way that i can catch a glimpse of the sun uh, or is there like, uh, there, like so if like, I check, it, is it feasible to say that at different times of the day I can, I would be able to see the sun in different positions at the shrine, or is it only visible because of the time of day it is? No. So the shrine, the way it's built, uh, about waist high, is um, stone blocks, and then it's got kind of wood bars around the sides of it that are they're close enough together that nobody can like see in without like trying. To see in and then of course it's got a slanted rooftop over it so like you could see the sun at any time of day through those bars if you look okay. do you want to just so it's I'll not try. like a stone hinge or right where it's gotta i'll try yeah. and line up the sun with the stone maybe how so the problem is the there there's wood things around <laughs> like like a uh, gazebo almost mm -hmm. Is there an opening up uh, above, or is it? It's got a slanted. Is there one that points back towards the city? What do you mean? Oh, uh, I thought we were more on the outskirts of the city. There was a crowd. <laughs> yeah, there's a crowd. You're kind of that like you're, you're not like in Market Square, <laughs> but you're pretty. Mm -hmm. It's like just no, got, slightly right. a higher elevated than the gotcha. rest of the yeah, city. Yeah, but only like like there are twelve steps leading up to the shrine. Gotcha. It's not hugely elevated. No, I, I got it. Uh, I was missing. I I was. Misvisioning where it was mm -hmm. in relation to being in the city, or yeah. So what do you do? You said you were going to try to. I it, it is the the emperor is sometimes represented by a like morning sun sometimes. Sometimes, um, I mean, you know that there's like a sun kami. I'm trying to get it to the point where it would look <clears throat> like I, this is going to be weird. Like if it was dawning. Mm. onto the so maybe like in line with it and casting yeah. light onto it yeah so like just trying to maneuver yeah. something around there so how do you how do you do that how do you try to get the sun to shine in that way you try to move anything around you try to oh you can't uh i mean do you try sure like okay the... um <clears throat> go ahead and roll me a um i like the effort of it and thinking like Kami wise, like dawn and timing, uh, I think theology would make sense or survival, either one, whichever one is strongest for you. Um, well, it's an investigation. <laughs> uh, I think so. Yeah, you're trying to find the way that this thing might work. Then it's two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then what ring would you use? Uh, maybe void for theology. Okay, go for it. Your target number is two. Uh, three and an opportunity. <clears throat> okay. You're kind of trying to maneuver, maybe move some of the bamboo out of the way, and uh, as you kind of reach around to like one that is directly behind where like the sun is to try to let the sun shine through right there, you're trying to just kind of bend them. It uh, pulls down like a lever. 
and the two feet at the furthest end of this shrine where that stone was fold down and open to reveal some sort of like hole or recess with handholds leading down etched into the rock what's what's everyone in the crowd's reaction to this it's not open like i said the the thing is mostly closed off okay so like nobody and you're 12 feet in the air so nobody can see you directly okay when you're inside all right i was going off a of v1 saw like this. and it was the top steps that came down not like the no like one. so like if the doorway is here it's the it's over here like on the other side of the doorway so like as deep inside of the shrine as you can get. Okay. So like it's as invisible as possible. I mean, it's scorpions, right? So like, it's a it's a hidden pass of some kind. Shall I go first, or would you like to go first? Mm. Do we have a? What is it? Dark or is it? It's dark. I think we need a torch. Do you? Have a torch? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> I have a torch. <laughs> Somebody would have something in their bag able to light. Can I flip a story point? <laughs> no, 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 we don't have those in this game. I have a stick. Right. I'm not telling you where I removed it from, but I have a stick. We can light it on fire. It's a little Aww. dry right now, so that's good. You know? How you're lighting, whether it's by candle or by torches, is, is less important than are you going to go down? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I okay, awesome. Story. We'll screen wipe then back over to uh, this nutty weasel. <laughs> So you you suggest we go to the city Miramura? Yeah, follow follow follow, follow, follow me. What what do we gain by going there? Maybe help. A guide. Now, are there spirits of people there, as opposed to spirits of animals? Now hold on a second. You saying I'm not people? <clears throat> well. <laughs> You look like a ferret. Are uh, you I people? I think he just busted his mouth. What, 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 what would make me not people? I talk like you talk. Yeah. Yeah. I eat things. Yes. I sleep sometimes. Do you eat anything besides nuts? Well, yeah, you got to survive whether okay. you got nuts or not. <laughs> God, <dang it. laughs> that was unintentional. <laughs> Are you saying you don't think I have nuts? I don't know what you got going on in the undercarriage. I joke. I joke. But we have summoned you as a guide. I think we follow. Okay. So you follow him. This is the will of the Kami and the spirits. (laughs) This This shall be the will. This is what you've learned about the nature of the Kami. I hope you like your check. (laughs) (laughs) They have a sense of humor, too. Yes, they do. Um, So he leads you guys in the forest, and like you see several different like types of tree root plant etc you even see some other spiritual animals that just kind of appear and disappear just as they're living their life they see that this uh weasel is leading you and so they're they're feeling a little bit more comfortable so like you get to see some glimpses that other people may not normally get to see uh but as you go by a particular spot in the forest he immediately takes a sharp left turn to move away and as you peer into there Everything grows kind of colorless. It looks like everything's still growing. There are even still some spirits about, but there is no color to be seen. What do you make of this? That's the middle of the forest. I don't, I don't go in there. That's the middle of the forest. Well, it's 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 it's, it's, it's the start. It's the start of it. It's not the the, the, the whole thing. How big is this area? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. It grows every day. It grows every day. It corrupts the land? Is, it, is, it, is, it, is that corrupt? Well, we don't know. How long has it been? How long have you been here? Well, I've been here all my life. I live here. Okay. Granted. But do you have any idea how long that might be? In the turning of the sun? Hundreds of years. And how long has this been here? Months? Weeks, maybe? I don't really... Not very long. Probably months, maybe a year. Have you gone completely around it? Probably. Have you ever entered it? No. And nothing comes out. 
<clears throat> we have a choice to make, my friend. We do. I think I should meditate and seek some guidance. As should I. Roll it. Okay. <clears throat> In the meantime, while this is going on, while he's meditating, I'm going to talk to this little ferret. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, if we go to the City of the Dead and we find a guide, See, and nothing comes out of here, why would a guide? Why yeah, would we yeah, trust yeah. a guide to take us through here? I don't, I, don't know. I don't know, but I know that if there is one, he's there. <clears throat> but if nothing comes out, then how should there be a guide? I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Here's a nut. Oh, shoot. That's right. I gotta do a void. Not here. Did you try to cheat over there, Rick? Yeah, I was. <laughs> better roll. It's a better roll than he got before. It already yes. is. Um, <laughs> it's not. It's at the same. I guess. It's, I, I guess it could just be. Because it's it's <laughs> <laughs> but I just need two success anyway, so. Just continue it. You don't take the... Stress. Oh, that's right, because I'm in void. <laughs> so three. that one counts. So I got three success. Do you? How do you meditate? How do I meditate? Do you, what do you do in this instance? We've had some discrepancies <clears throat> right, in the past. Right, it's a flash it of like. insight. Um, basically, I would, you know, close my eyes and open up my mind. I still my thoughts and allow Lord Tagashi's um, insight to. Come in. I don't have any like Zen words or anything like that that I, you know, I don't have a mantra. You close your eyes and nothing happens. You open them. And uh, Isawa, you don't see this. But Shinsei stands in front of you with his hand stretched out to you with an eye containing a void pupil etched into his hand. <laughs> and he nods at you as if you should take his hand and follow. I reach out to him. Okay. And I take his hand. Okay. So you, so you just see uh, Tagashi kind of bows, looks up, grabs his hand and I comb. I was like, wait, are we really going in there? And I look... This weasel said we shouldn't go in there. Are we going in there? This weasel but also, you can't hear it. I this, can't hear you that. You can't hear him say that. This weasel also told us we would find a guide to a place <clears throat> that nobody ever comes out of. Who's the guide? Miramoto just walked in there by himself. And like you can see as he walks in, all of the green from his cloak, or from his, his Komodo, gone. It's not even like it's black. It just doesn't have color. You can tell that there's a form there, but it lacks any substantive anything. The dragon Do have we... a way of communing, uh, communing and getting insight to things. Yeah, maybe he normally... does. I don't. So, in this very moment, he is our guide. After you. I don't think I'm going in there. What do you mean after me? This is our path. This is his path. Maybe your path. I don't even know why I'm in this forest. I can't talk to him. You said, no, you can't. To heal. You said I need healing, but I feel fine. I don't need to go in there. In a great many ways, your mind has been manipulated. Yeah, right now, by you telling me I need to go in there. <laughs> Uh, can I do a Tempest of Air and push him in? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. Let's see. Don't that. fail. <laughs> and that is going to be an error. She's two. Okay. <sighs> this will be funny. So how far does it push it? Um this one 
it basically hold on um one range band okay great per opportunity okay <laughs> so there is an opportunity that's there and that will be maintained and kept and how many successes do you need on it um i need uh two successes actually okay so if i go with these two how many ring dice did you roll? You can only keep. You can only keep oh, two. hold on. That's right. So I have to take the. You have to hope for another success. Okay. Now you do have some void points. You can always spend a reroll. That's cocked. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't touch you. Oh, that's I was actually going to tap the table. Roll. You got to roll it again. So, yeah. We got it. Okay, so two strife, one opportunity, three and successes. Yep, so he is pushed Excellent. back. So make now, sure you mark the strife. That is where I am on my way to next. I have to get to that character sheet. Okay. Does anything else happen to him? Uh, Technically... <laughs> he takes, like, what? Your air ring in damage? Uh, let's see. Theonology. Um... He suffers supernatural eat up to my air ring, so he can take and resist. He can try and resist it. I don't think he does. I don't think he sees it coming. Okay, no problem. Then he takes two. Okay, uh, so you push him in. He immediately is like, and and you see him like mouth the words like this, freaking Shugenja, and he moves back toward you and reaches. You see him reaching his right hand back to punch you. He reaches his left hand out to grab you, and as he reaches his left hand out, his arm disappears. Very interesting. And the arm is gone. And he's like looking in the horror. He's not bleeding. It's just gone. Do I see any of this? No, or you're you're walking fuck, forward. I'm following Shinsei. You didn't hear anything going on, so why would you? <clears throat> like as soon as you grab Shinsei's hand, you're focused. La, la, la. Okay. Yeah. So you see that happen. You see he looks down in horror at his arm. And that's where we're going to end the session. Uh, for this break, uh, if you're on the stream... Continue following us. We'll be back after a brief uh, break to continue the story. If you're on the podcast, thanks so much for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed the story so far. And until next time, keep on adventuring.
Hey everybody, welcome back to Warrior's Path. Thanks so much for joining us. If you have not yet subscribed, I hope you've been watching us up until now on the live stream tonight. These uh, nuts! Subscribe. <laughs> yeah, it's been a nutty episode. Um, right. Subscribe by hitting that subscribe button. Get the notifications for all of our content by hitting the bell. Hit the thumbs up so that we know you liked what we did. Or thumbs down if you really hated us tonight. And leave us a comment. Just let us know how we I did. I want to see how many D's Nuts comments that we can actually get <laughs> against this episode. The last episode. You know. That is a challenge for yes. every one of you out there. Okay, um, so last time on Warrior's Path... Um, Isawa and Miramoto are exploring the Kitsune Forest with Ikoma Dandaru. Their hope is that they can find a way to kind of heal his memory loss as well as exploring the Kitsune Forest and the things that Hinata told them was going on here um, before she left in search of the oracles herself. Meanwhile, um, Kitsuki and Utaku, along with Bayushi Aramoro, the Scorpion Clan champion, infiltrate the City of Lies, and they have just descended into some hidden passageway underneath a shrine in the City of Lies. And that is actually where we're going to pick up, is in their next room that they are in. As you enter into this room, uh, it's, it's again, it's a fairly small stone room. There's some lighting from up above. You don't know where that's coming from. It doesn't look like natural sunlight, but there's some kind of lighting from the ceiling coming into the room, making it dim. Uh, mm -hmm. The light that you have with you kind of helps to illuminate some extra things in the room, like just kind of some details in the stonework, especially some words written on the wall. These words say, Rokugan is built upon order, but operates on the backs of the lesser. And what what else is in the stonework? You just just this? Yeah, you just see you see some detail, like some. There are some images um, etched into the stone, but uh, for the most part, the the biggest detail in the room is that sentence. What Rokugan, are the images? Uh, just various battles okay. uh, and things like that. You see a scorpion battle uh, with the lion. You see a crab battle with the lion. Really, there's a lot of lion in there. Of course, makes sense. Uh, and then the words Rokugan is built upon order but operates on the backs of the lesser backs I'll step back and examine this I'm would you like to roll culture sure okay <laughs> it is an investigation uh, did we get XP last time? Uh, yes. Okay, so five per way. five per episode right now. Uh, <coughs> let's go. <coughs> so ten on the night so far. Fire. Yes. Um. It's either fire. I think or water or would make sense as well. Fire makes less sense. It's more of a like knee jerk type of thing. You're trying to get some. Uh, mm. uh, I guess fire would make sense for like examining war. It's jumping like, to I, I'm, jumping I'm, to yeah, I'm treating it like jumping. Okay. But I'll, I, I'll do water. Do, 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 do. Let's write this. Two. Two successes. All right. <coughs> <coughs> so as you kind of take a step back, you're kind of eyeing not only the battles, but uh, the... The ground underneath them um, is not just rock. You see things like Ashigaru armor. Um, <clears throat> you see broken farm tools. Things like that. Like the, the kind of symbolism to, to match what is written. Um, that Rakugan is built upon order but operates on the backs of the lesser. Uh, kind of gives you the image of like these lesser soldiers and even farmers that have kind of sacrificed themselves in the name of the battles of the samurai. And is there anywhere to like transfer them if you would? Transfer no. Like a pedestal that <clears throat> looks slightly raised, something like that? There's not a pedestal, but there is a in the kind of center, like as you take a step back and you examine all of the drawings around the wall, you see in the center of it, which it wasn't as apparent that it was the center before, you see an image of 
Uh, what looks like it could be an emperor on a horse. The are the Ashigaro. Uh, I'll, I'll try moving the plow. Can I, like, so they're they're like they're like etched into the wall. Oh, can I Dude. feel on it? Maybe. Yeah. To try and like push it, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, and you can kind of go out around the different things and try to do that. While you do that, Otaku, did you have well, a suggestion? You, you have uh, you say the backs of the lesser. Yeah, or while hmm. you're doing that, what you're you're uh, starting to mess with. What are you What are you doing? I know what you're doing. I'm, my character's kind of confused. I'm trying to figure this out. I These might <coughs> move in some way. All right. When, when it, they say order, I think it opens to the next room. Okay. I'll go around and also investigate those. Mm -hmm. You don't find much. Um, none of them, none of the particular pieces move. Um, you <coughs> saved the back of a lesser. But is a horse not lesser than a human? I don't think that. <laughs> I think my horses are greater than the lion. Well, I was <laughs> thinking more of the social class in reverse. But. Yeah. Do you want to test something on the horse? If we've if we've gone around the room and tested all the Ashigaru, go ahead and roll a, a skull dungery check. I will test the the oh boy. Is Thanks. this to move to? Is this on the horse or on uh, Ashigaru? It's kind of an investigation of it. Okay. Of the room in general. I think fire makes a bunch of sense for your character. Earth could also make sense. We'll try fire. Getting irritated, I get One. <laughs> Do you have any strife? One, I say. <laughs> Just one success? Yeah. Okay. That's um, not my... Uh, I'm I'm not as <clears throat> hot blooded as I've seen. So you <laughs> you make the assumption that perhaps they're talking about this horse, uh, and frustrated you try to kind of press around on it, but nothing really happens. Oh, I need to take. <clears throat> you grabbed the wrong dongle. <laughs> he's, he's grabbing for the cow. Others, I don't know if we have <laughs> cows. He should have been grabbing for these nuts. <laughs> I mean, that's. That's your thing to grab, not mine. <laughs> Only well, if it's a ferret. Yeah. But you, I, I thought Unicorn did not believe the horses were lesser. This, uh, this is obviously a scorpion line of thinking. Did you have uh, any opportunity in your last roll, Eric? Uh, I think you had one or two. Probably. I, I have three dice. Yeah, I, I, I think you notice. Uh, in this room, that uh, the floor is particularly dirty. Like there's kind of sand all over the place, not just dust. Just in the room, like even in on the floor. Yeah, but I mean, like before, there was no sand. Right. Okay. Mm. I guess I'll try and move some of it at least. Okay. Go ahead and roll a uh, kind of a culture. Like a culture action, I think maybe right. a culture and fire. Sure. Your desire for cleanliness has kind of overtaken you. <laughs> it's a weird desire to have. <laughs> Wait, you, you leave me at one. I got curiosity. That's my passion. <laughs> uh, do I? Okay, we'll do it that way. There you go. Uh. The strikes with the opportunity. Three successes. You did fire. Yeah. No, I don't think you don't need that. Three. That's four success. Excellent. If you did fire. Yeah. If you oh, did fire, your strife counts. Yes. I won't take one. So out. you begin dusting off the floor, and as you do so, um, you you reveal a couple of handles um, that were kind of buried underneath this sand. It was thicker than you thought at first, um, because it's well packed in. Mm -hmm. I guess all. Well, what? Which are they? Attached to something, if you will. They're they're on the floor. 
No, well, are they like next to? How are they? It, they just they look the like door. for like a trap door. All right, fine. Open it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that leads you further down into didn't the space. Have to figure that puzzle <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie crumb followed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you get into this next room, and uh, you see a uh, an orb sitting upon a pedestal. And on the wall across from it, it says, Passion is the fruit of the moon's ire. And we're going to flip to Isawa and Miramoto while you guys kind of think on that one. Uh, Ikoma is a a one-armed man now. He looks in horror at himself. And he points at you. (laughs) (laughs) And motions for you to enter. He's like, I don't think so. <laughs> I turn around and start walking the other direction. No, I'm joking. I'm going to see. Like, I'll be back with help. <laughs> I'll, I'll get this. This uh, is how you split a party. Yeah, the, the clock. Just like one sec. Uh. <laughs> uh so emotions for you to come in. Anyway, yes, I go ahead and walk on in and through. And, and he, past. Well past. <laughs> <laughs> so he pushes you back out. <laughs> well, he's got one arm. All I have to do is dance. That's then maybe he puts the other arm out and then goes away. <laughs> hey, Bob. So he, he kind of points at himself and, and points at you. And like you, he tries to talk. You can't hear anything. No. But you guys do see Miramoto just ahead. And that's, I'll kind of go. He kind of takes out his tonfa and goes to like, as if he were going to hit it into his hand. So he just... (laughs) (laughs) And looks angrily down. (laughs) And you look at him and laugh. (laughs) Transitions his closed tonfa at you. And I just kind of hold my hand out, pointing back towards Miramoto. He flips it open and walks in Miramoto's direction. (laughs) Then I'll proceed behind him. Okay. Do I have any will at all in what's going on? Am I just... You're willingly following. Okay. <laughs> should say. Um, no, like you're, you're kind of following, and I'm sure you look back and see them coming after you. You just see I come up with this big fan open, and uh, <laughs> it's always behind him. You don't notice anything's amiss. Um, they both look pretty determined. <laughs> As you're walking forward, though, you hear a ringing in your ears that starts to grow louder and louder, kind of with each step, until it sounds like a dull scream. And then as you take another step forward, you hear it more clearly and more clearly, and uh, a bit of color re-enters the world, and it becomes more clear and more clear until you come into... A clearing and it's just a it's just a it's a glass shattering screech at this point and it seems to be emanating from and anywhere in particular well you you see like as you enter this clearing and, and uh, the other two you hear it as well as you're moving forward and maybe that even makes you hesitate I don't know but as you come into the clearing Shensei lets go of your hand and he kind of disappears of course it does <laughs> and you see a woman with long black hair wearing a sort of tan but blood-stained kimono as a spike made of nothing <laughs> juts up from the ground through her chest and she is screeching into the sky. Does she seem spirit or solid? She's pretty solid. <laughs> pretty solid. <clears throat> Is Can I, and I hear it now, ma'am, what is going on? You can't, on? like, when I, you try to talk, like, you can tell you're producing sound, but it is not loud enough to be heard over the over shrieks. The, over the shrieks. <clears throat> Does she seem aware of anything at all? No. I will move to where, I mean, can I see her eyes and... I mean, can I? They are filled with black. (laughs) 
Isawa, you've by now entered the clearing with Ikoma. Okay. Who looks at you and says, What is wrong? But you can't hear him. Because <laughs> <laughs> the shrieking is too loud. <laughs> <laughs> What do you do? Am I seeing the same lady? I, yes. I turn to Asawa and... Now you see Ikoma's missing an arm. Ikoma, you've been disarmed. <laughs> you can't hear, he can't hear you. <laughs> Great joke. He can't hear you. <laughs> so, in taking... Uh, I'm, I'm ignoring what's happening over here. Uh, <laughs> Probably for the best. Can I gather anything by... What you described with her eyes, seeing that the blackness in her eyes is this. Uh, it's not necessarily black. You you gather more that it's 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 void. It's nothing. Okay. Um. I want to see if I can sit down and kind of do a quick meditation, and kind of reach out to the spirits and see if I can communicate with my guys that way. Target number is going to be four. All right. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> so three. <laughs> now it's reduced by his thing, isn't it? If it's a downtime. So. Yeah. So it's it's reduced by my rank in school, which yeah. technically is I'm in the third rank at this point. Hmm. So I reduced by three. Nice. So target's one. Nice. <laughs> if that's how you're gonna rule that, but sure. All right. see so all I need is one and I'm in a void so we'll keep that one and we will take the opportunities with another explosive success and another opportunity so three opportunities and two success your success show you you can't access Kami right now okay Kami can't enter into here uh, mm. at all your opportunities tell you this as far as you could possibly know, is the Oracle of the Void. Mm -hmm. She is dead, but her life essence is being sustained by whatever this spike is, which is what is stopping a new Oracle from being appointed. Okay. <clears throat> but I don't know any of this. The moment that I come to that conclusion... I'm going to flame up one of my katanas and try and knock that spike out from underneath her. Okay. Separate the spike. Because um, <clears throat> it's the only supernatural weapon that I have. Yes. But we've just established the kami are inaccessible right now. Okay. Which means that your invocations are inaccessible right now. Alrighty then. I'm so I'm going to look like a school kid. <laughs> <laughs> just whacking at a stone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to make this, this, this motion where I, I point down towards the stone that she's on and go like this, which is a symbol for breaking, breaking or yes. snapping. Breaking wind? <laughs> <laughs> for all of you on camera, you got that. But for everybody else, we're not going there. <laughs> um. <clears throat> So, on the ground, I'm going to start riding into the dirt. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> Oracle, void. Yes. Break, stone. Okay. <laughs> I am going to. More than one to... way to skin that cat. <laughs> I am going to Just break the stone. Like, okay. I am going to do breaking blow. Okay. Okay, which breaks stone. Your key hose are raised in difficulty by two because of the spiritual disruptions going on here. Mm. Now, because they don't come directly from the kami, they come more from your key being accessed. Um, it's more of an inner thing. Uh, you'll be able to potentially do them, but the difficulties are increased by two. Okay, well, I only need a target. Uh, well, to break stone, uh, actually... I mean, the obvious point here is, is we could pr try and lift her off of the spike, but I don't know if that's going to work very well. As I will try to this. Snapping it. We'll try this. We'll see what happens. Oh, what's your target number? 
Uh, well, actually, my target number is one. Actually, oh, uh, but to break, oh. to destroy stone, I need a five. So both of those are increased by two. So you need three I just to succeed. Oh, I and okay. you need seven to break <laughs> stone. No, you need four, so six. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> That's well, this with your fire ring? Yeah, but it's all, it's the burst effect. No, 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 I know. So both of them go up by two, or just one would go up by two? Well, the, burst, the, burst is, the burst effect is essentially like you need so many over. Oh, right. it might be seven. Get yeah, it? probably, because it would increase one to three, and then you need plus four, right? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. so when usually he has seven. four plus successes, he gets it, so you need six. Yeah. Oh, so okay. usually you need, like, it's a certain amount of bonus successes nope. gives it to you. Right. It's his one, increased by two. <laughs> Very good. Uh, that was pathetic. Okay. Uh, you can spend a void point to re-roll dice. Um, yeah. <laughs> is it re-roll all? Uh, sure. Now, you and need this three is... explosions followed by three. Good luck. Because <laughs> you um, can only keep three well, If he's dice. using fire ring, this, all the strife counts. He's not there. It has to be earth. No. Oh, it's breaking, fire. Breaking blows. Which fire. is fire. Oh, is it fire? It's, a, it's fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. It, it's it's bonus successes technically. Well, and I can <laughs> I can damage it with two yeah. to destroy oh, so seven, yeah. it. I need four. Yeah, but I can now, damage well, it with two. Three in it. Um, because they don't count until you're over. Okay, it's how it's technically. Yeah, make the call and let's roll with it. it nope. One, two, three, four, five. But you, you definitely damage it, huh? You can't keep all that. You can oh, you're right. Three. I can only keep three. So just keep three in. Well, three damages it. Uh, bonus success of two, so three doesn't even damage it because I need a bonus. You just succeeded. I you just succeeded. Three just to succeed. uh, to, I give uh, weapons and armor <laughs> the damage quality. Mm. Yeah. So you try, and mm. uh, it just it just kind of prevails over you, and you're. In your effort, mm. I will pull out the wakasashi. Okay. Do I feel anything from the wakasashi in here? Nope. <laughs> I grab our friend and push him into the spike. No. <laughs> <laughs> That'll help. <laughs> He's gonna be really now, mad at me when this I is can all done. keep hitting it with breaking blow, though, right? In theory, you could. Um, roll me a theology check real quick, Isawa. Target number one. Because this is uh, a earthy... Any suggested ring Earth. That you think I should be? Okay. Yeah. You're thinking about a rock, so Earth is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Boy, we're rolling like doo-doo. Um, three successes and an opportunity. Well, we're not rolling like that. <clears throat> As he pulls out that wakazashi, I'm assuming you meant the special one? Yes. Um, you you notice and, and realize if that is Earth, there is a very powerful Kami living inside of that sword. Mm -hmm. So, with that, I kind of hold him Try and try and hold his stay, and then just put my hands out like this. They're already awakened. I'm sure he can just cut it. <laughs> well, that's true, but I might be able to do a little bit of communication if I'm direct contact with it. Hmm. So I'll take that and then kind of close my eyes and then see if I can commune with that particular kami. Um, the kami within the dagger seems afraid. Like, it's not wanting to say or do anything outside of the deck. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me. Okay. So, I'll just kind of shake my head, like, in a confused look and just hand it back to him. Now, have you relayed the information of, like, she's dead, something is just keeping her... Life and no, I just he I wrote, wrote it down. The, yeah, you wrote void it ground, and yeah. void uh, oracle. Oh, okay. right stone. So I think you should share that information probably. Well, that's fine. I'll write all that into the dirt. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we need. Is there to snow just... around here? <clears throat> okay, and I'll write back. So we need to destroy <laughs> the, the spike. 
you, you would assume you have to find a way for this to stop and for a new void entity to be chosen. You have to find a way to either remove her from the spike or stop her life force from being preserved. I am going to touch the Wakasashi to the stone. The stone where you touch it kind of shudders. I'm going to push it into the stone. It starts slicing through like uh, like a real thick potato. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to... Uncooked, of course. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm going to microwave it again <laughs> to soften it up. Well, now, I'm going to I'm gonna attempt breaking blow on it again to so weaken kind of, it. You kind of cut into it a little bit, and then you're going to try a breaking blow. Uh-huh. So and only add one to the, to the roll, or to the target number. And if that doesn't work, then we're just going to skewer the lady in half and let her fall off both sides. Oh, that was <laughs> not what I thought we were going to do. It well, this is more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have passed it last time? <laughs> um, that would be very funny. Oh, wait. <laughs> one, one, one white, black. one black. Do what? You get one white, one black to roll That's into right. that. All right. So we got one, two, he three, got five. four, five, and an opportunity. Okay. How many did you need? It, uh, it matters how it's added, I think. You said just add one? Yeah, so it's target number two, and then you need bonus successes over that. So six. Oh, six. <laughs> so I, now it's I, six. I six. <laughs> and I made five. You can use, uh, you should have more than one void point. You should have void points equal to, well, it's a half of your yeah. void ring. Oh, my void ring is two. Yeah, so no, you only got one. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to try the walk. Um, okay, but I in that case, you, I did damage You do it. deal some damage to it. You I, see I it kind of... successfully uh, damaged it. It doesn't, like, rock back and forth, but you see it, like, visibly vibrates. So basically what you would see is I slice into it, I step back, and I hurl a force of fire at it, mm-hmm. and then I come back in, and wherever I damage, I'm going to continue trying to slice it. And yeah, gonna... so over time, just because I don't, I don't want to keep making that roll exactly, over and over exactly. again, over time, you definitely do. You get through it, and you do one final breaking blow, and it just kind of cracks this rock in half, and it deteriorates from the bottom up, uh, releasing her, and the void energy just kind of accumulates in the hole in her chest and spews upward in like a violent geyser. And we're like going to Ghostbusters shift, thing. sort of like Ghostbusters. And we're going to shift over <laughs> to the other two, to Kitsuki and Utako. You guys are in this sort of basement level, and you saw the message: "Passion is the fruit of the moon's ire." Um, is there only the orb here? What yes. else is in the room? The writing. There's just the orb and the writing. Okay. And a pedestal. And the moon is made of cheese yes now is the is <laughs> we're going okay it's amaretsu is the sun and the moon is the male yeah sukuyomi okay the ire is in the moon no say that again passion is the fruit of the moon's ire so to help you guys out what ring is associated with passion fire excellent Water it is. <laughs> Go. <laughs> the opposite of no. Um, so I'm going. Yeah, these guys are trapped in the dungeon for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to the incorpor- Earth Oracle and just never. I came have. Back. Fi- I have fire <laughs> in hand. You do. Um, I'll touch it to the orb. Excellent. The orb kind of separates. <laughs> And reveals just kind of a, a, a lever or a button or something that you can press, and it opens a door to the next room. You move into the next room, and it says, uh, Determine your worth by inheriting defeat. On the floor in front of you, and across from you, you see a practice dummy holding a wooden sword. Say that again. Determine your worth by inheriting defeat. I will try and go up to it and just like 
look like I'm defeated by it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right, Balls on the ground. <laughs> that too. <laughs> I walk up and smack myself with the sword. <laughs> Very good. And fall to the ground. <laughs> yes, that's the answer. <laughs> I wish oh, yeah, that was he did. the answer. I tell you, he did. <laughs> They're never leaving. <laughs> the practice dummy comes alive, you idiot. <laughs> Roll me a, uh, a tactics check. No, no, I want to see what his technique is. <laughs> <laughs> I see him like that. I'm like, well, that was my idea. <laughs> I got nothing now. <laughs> oh, um, God. Tactics what? Oh, We're trying to come up with ingenious answers and <laughs> walking up to a track study. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I lose. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my katana. <laughs> I lay it at your feet. Hi, you. You are a very good fighter. Whoa, now there you That's a roll. Did you get all. You actually get all those dice, huh? Pretty much. Oh my gosh, you got four. Welcome to my rank. rank. Wow. How many <clears throat> threes you got? Three, sir. Pretty good. What ring are you rolling in? Water. Nice. All right. So I got one, two, three, four, five successes. <coughs> Heal off your I'm gonna, your, uh, uh, and this is to investigate, right? Yes. I'm just. I'm going to like look at it and then just try to come at it with from a different angle. Like maybe it's wanting me to so pick up its wooden sword. And my initial thought is to like lose in a fight against another armed opponent. So, you But maybe I come to a different conclusion along the way. You do, yes. Um, you remove the wooden sword from its arm, and its arm kind of shoots up like a lever. Like you've taken off some sort of weight from it. Okay. Um, and I'll just use the opportunities to negate all those strife. Yeah, sure. Uh, so the arm comes up when you take the sword out of it, and you try to pull it back down, and when you pull it all the way down, a, a door opens behind it. But when you let go to try to go through the door, the door closes. When you put the sword back in its arm, it goes down about halfway. You know you need something heavier to leave the lever open. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was going with these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, with five successes, with five I'm going to say nothing. you assume that it needs a real katana. Yeah, I figured. Uh, after you started this, I was like, oh, uh, man. <laughs> it's fine. You can have mine. Mine's not even a katana. <laughs> what is it? Mine's a John. <laughs> I don't think that'll be heavy enough. I, they're both. <laughs> That's fair. Handed towards, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Give up your honor. <laughs> we must. <have. laughs> I'll die in this cave. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! It's half open with the wooden sword in. Uh -huh. Wait. We, <laughs> we could go under. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, no, no, no. Oh, I thought you were gonna. No, no, no. The door's not half open. The arm goes halfway down. I thought we were we'll gonna ride real so rocks <laughs> against each. To go on there. <laughs> and you guys are both inheriting losers. <laughs> Do you give it a sword or not? I'm ready to move on. Very okay. Um, <coughs> um, the next room, you see uh, a door. Simple door on the other side. And there's several etchings along the walls. Uh, mountain ranges. It, it looks like basically across the wall is maps of, of different lands in Rokugan. And uh, on the floor in front of you, it says, devise small plans, receive small results. It's a map of Rokugan that says, devise small plans, receive small results. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the entire map. 
You can't. It's, it's so warm, it's, it's the world. world. <laughs> but I like where your head's at. <laughs> I draw a whole army on it. No. <laughs> Little stick figure. Uh, anything else in the room? Just nope. Just the just a door and a mural. The door you came through. No, different door. A different door. There's no door behind us. Now. So what was this riddle? Devise small, small plans, plans, receive small results. Do you do you have an idea? Is there any city that has basically in the name big or large as part of its name? I'll use tactics. Okay. Ah. Earth ring. <laughs> well, I can do that. <clears throat> Why not? Okay. Those two. Both are explosions. And then there's explosions. Three. Three? Try. You notice that Odasanuchi is in the wrong place. That Odasanuchi on the map is actually on top of where the city of Lies is. Oh, it doesn't move. Do you try to move it? Yes. You try to move it, and one of the mountains opens up as another door. You didn't even try it, Connie. That door was supposed to be a broom closet. You didn't even take my bait. <laughs> <laughs> was there no? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there was a door. I said, no, 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 no. I meant, is there no city of Lies? Besides, no, there's, okay. it's just not on the map. Oh. <laughs> All right, you Damn enter wise. into the next room, and you see written on the opposite wall a steady hand is one thing, but a steady heart is unbroken. And there is a uh, like a hole in the wall. About arm sized. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to? <laughs> no one to I'm take done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. A coma. <laughs> A coma. Where are you? <laughs> Say it again. <clears throat> A steady Stadium. hand is one thing, but a steady heart is unbreakable. Stick my left arm in. Oof. Uh, you feel a bar on the inside, and it's got uh, some sort of pin on the in on the other end of it. What is this? Uh, so much dune, you know. <clears throat> a pin? Mm -hmm. Like a pick prick? Yep. Pin prick. That's all I can feel. Yeah, you haven't like gripped it or anything. You just gotta feel that that's there. Like going all the way through it, mm -hmm. uh, just like sticking out of the other side. So you'd have to intentionally mm -hmm. impale yourself. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You do it. Yep. Excellent. You hold it there. Uh, initially, you kind of just do it real quick, and it's and, but nothing happens. You hold it there for a little bit longer, and a door opens up, leading you into another room. But you can't. <laughs> didn't impale all the way through. <laughs> didn't impale all the way through right. my hand. So no, it just kind of threw a finger. Just drained a little bit of blood. Edit, okay. edit number two. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were at the Rokugan glory hole. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I thought he just had a thing for taking arms. Yeah, that's what I was. That's why I was. <laughs> God, I was being a smart ass, but that's all right. We're good. <laughs> Gotta add some humor. <laughs> then, in this last room, there is a doorway that is open, and above it, it says, only one may leave enlightened. You're going to pickpocket you. <laughs> and we'll, we'll screen wipe him back to Miramoto and Isawa. And Isawa, you watch as this void erupts into the sky. And Miramoto, you try to back up away from it, and you can't. Your arms, your legs, there, there's like tendrils that have come out of it and have kind of begun to wrap around you, and even you can tell, like, seep into your tattoos. Can I do my body as an anvil? You can try. Oh. <clears throat> 
and you see Miramoto get a very worried look on his face, though he is seeking enlightenment. <coughs> and but I was just told you can't become enlightened. Only one of us can. Mm, that's for well, that doesn't mean the other one can't go back to the <laughs> process. <laughs> It just says one. This trip. That's all he's talking about. That's only one of us has a torch, so only one of us is in light. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see. Oh, I can take that. Oh, all these. Uh, six successes. And you can only keep three dice. I know, but okay. these are all... Uh, all right. Your body is an anvil. Okay. I'm and, on fire. And the tendrils continue to climb. <clears throat> And you see the the void energy has kind of slowed down and has now begun to fall. And it it starts to fill this clearing up, almost like waves. And it crashes against the void that's on the outside. And you see color start to return to the forest area behind you guys. And as it does, this blackness grows. And it begins to kind of engulf everyone. <clears throat> okay, and it's a supernatural shield too. The fire. Yeah, that's fine. You're drowning okay. in nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Isawa, what do you do? You're also kind of drowning in this nothing that you can't really move through and can't see through, and is kind of consuming you. But you see a flaming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just before the void takes over, yes. Yes, yes. <clears throat> I want to see if... I, I, I do. I want to attempt like a dance of the seasons and see if I can treat it almost like a water or fluid and kind of push it away. Okay. Go ahead and, go ahead and make the roll. Uh, and while you're doing that, uh, Miramoto, you hear... A really calm voice in your head. Uh, I, I need a, I need a space. I need some place to go. <clears throat> Someone has to carry me. I can't. I have no idea who this voice is, though. Do I? You get a an overwhelming sense of calm and not that enlightenment is an emotion but a sense of enlightenment a sense of balance can you carry me I will open up myself <clears throat> How'd you do? I passed with an opportunity. <clears throat> Excellent. You kind of make this divide just very, very briefly in this. Moving less of what this is and more of moisture that's still in the air. And you see Miramoto like, let's go of the flame. And all of a sudden, this void just sweeps into him in the flash. And Miramoto's gone. Alrighty. And that is where we will end our session. Maybe hope, till next time. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed Miramoto Diphthong. <laughs> he is no longer with us. We'll see you guys next time on uh, Warrior's Path. Until then, keep on adventuring. Later. Have a good one.